our world has become increasingly ravaged with high burden of non-communicable diseases like hypertension, diabetics, obesity, cancers, and the likes. And we keep wondering why. Could consuming too much sugar added to our drinks, beverages, and meal be the culprit? Let us find out from this video. Hello, you are welcome to my consulting room. Let us examine 10 risk side effects or complications of consuming too much added sugar to our drinks, beverages, and meals. Number one, obesity. When we constantly consume too much added sugar from our drinks, from our beverages, from our processed foods, as against taking natural foods, we are at risk of taking too much that we need every day. And what the body does to the excess is to convert it through a, uh, a process of biochemical reactions into fat. And without exercise, or if we are not, if we are sedentary, what happens is that it is stored up as fat, and accumulation of fat leads to obesity and the amount of complications that comes with it. Consumption of high sugar diet will increase your risk of heart diseases, and heart diseases are said to be the commonest cause of death worldwide. Intake of high sugar diet will lead to obesity, inflammation, uh, diabetes, hypertension, or even fatty deposits narrowing the internal linings of the arteries that supplies um, every organ and tissue of the body. This put together will increase the risk of heart disease, which increases the risk of premature death. And like we said, it is the number one cause of death worldwide. A recent study in over 30,000 people who consumed an average of 20% of calories from added sugar found out that they were at greater risk of dying from heart diseases compared to those who add calories from just 8% of added sugar. And I'm sure you don't want to add to the statistics. Number three, acne. If you are battling with acne, you may need to check the intake of your sugar consumption. Every time you take sugar, there's a spike in the level of your blood sugar. And what happens is that the pancreas is called upon to release insulin. Insulin release will lead to increased androgen secretion, inflammation, and oil production. And all this has been linked to having a role to play in acne development. Again, listen to this. A recent study in 2,300 teenagers showed that those who constantly consumed added sugar in their diet had a 30% risk of developing acne. Number four is an increase in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. An increase in the consumption of added sugar and refined sugar in our diet will translate to an increase in obesity. And like we already established, obesity is, an, uh, obesity is a risk factor for developing diabetes. That is one. Increase in the consumption of added sugar, of refined sugar, would also increase the risk of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance will ultimately lead to developing type 2 diabetes. Number five is the increased risk of developing certain cancers. Again, in this case, obesity is the culprit. Increased in intake of added sugar will lead to an increase in the risk of obesity. Obesity will lead to an increase in the risk of developing certain cancers like esophageal cancer, cancer of the lining, of the external lining of the lungs, cancer of the endometrium in women, and even cancer of the small intestines. Six, added sugar may accelerate the aging process of the skin. Wrinkles on our skin are a natural sign of the aging process, but poor food choices, especially with added sugars, refined sugars, may speed up this process and accelerate um, aging. Consumption of meals or diets that are rich in refined sugar will lead to the production of a substance that is called the advanced glycation end products. Now, these products are substances that damages collagen and elastin. Collagen and elastin are substances below the skin that helps it to stretch and gives it the youthful appearance. So, once we have um, high intake of refined sugar, we have the production of advanced glycation end products. What happens is that collagen and elastin are damaged, the skin begins to lose its firmness and it begins to sag, wrinkles begin to set in. Number seven, increased intake of refined sugar in our diet can lead to an increased risk of developing fatty liver. The added refined sugar in our meal will usually be converted to glycogen and glycogen is converted to fat and this is usually stored up in our liver, leading to a disease that is called a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It is just a situation where excess fat is stored up in the liver. Number eight is the increase in the risk of developing kidney diseases. When we consistently take added sugar, it can lead to a damage of delicate blood vessels in the kidneys, and this will eventually increase our risk of developing kidney disease. 
Number nine, it has a negative impact on dental health. The bacteria in the mouth usually feeds on sugar, releasing acid byproducts, which eventually leads to forming of cavities and um, eventual loss of tooth. Ten, consuming too much added sugar would usually impact negatively on our mental health. This is because it could lead to addiction, that is one. Apart from that, every other complications or possible complications that we've mentioned are risk factors for coming down with depression. So the way out of all this is to start to gradually cut down added sugar in our diet. If you find this video educative and you want to get more of these videos recommended to you, don't forget to hit on the subscription and notification button. Until then, I am your doctor, friend and partner on the path of living old, still alive and healthy. Cheers.